What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be playing Cupid? Cupid, why not? And the reason we're playing Cupid is no reason at all, really. I mean, I just kind of figured that hunters don't show up on this channel very often. And if I'm going to play a hunter, I don't know, I'm going to play a weird hunter. And Cupid's kind of a weird hunter. So that's what, that's what my thought process is. Get some variety. Oh, uh, what's actually good on Cupid? I, <laughs> I, uh, I actually kind of want to try Warrior's Axe. That sounds pretty hilarious with the heart bombs. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go so much power and damage that when I use my heart bomb, Nua will just explode and she will die. Um, I think I need beads, blink, or something. I need something to get away from the minions. Beads is probably best. All right, let's see how this game goes. Also, I'm like coughing and sneezing a little bit, so hopefully that doesn't pick up on the mic. I got my RTX voice to work again without using all my computer's memory. So now the audio quality is a little bit better, I hope. Oh, she's just going to let me take this? Uh, I will accept that graciously. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. One weird part about Cupid is the more hearts you have lit up in your passive, the more you actually heal from your hearts. It's kind of weird. Not many other gods have stuff like that. Kill the minion before she gets her stupid thing. There we go. She actually has Vampiric Shroud, which I am not worried about at all. Out of all the starter items she could have gone, that's probably my least worried one. Specifically on Nua. Oh, she's so low, but the minions were kind of beating me up. I'll chase, but let me heal real quick. I mean, she might just straight up recall. I don't know. Yeah, she just straight up recalled. Like, I, I I should have chased there. It's just, there were so many minions, and I'm a little tiny bee. A very fragile bee at that. Your middle tower is under attack. I had no idea that item was called Lost Artifact. The Tier 1 Chronos Planet. That's a cool item. A cool item name. It looks kind of weird. Alright, let's do that. <laughs> Look at that warrior's axe, man. Actually does a huge amount of damage. No, get get away from those. Draw the ult. Uh oh. Again, could have stayed to try to kill her, but would be dangerous. It would be dangerous. But if I hit her with that warrior's axe, I don't know. I don't know, Nua. If I dash and I miss, I die. So, how about we don't dash? Unless I am 100% sure I can hit it. I actually have a lot of health now. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. The tower started targeting to be too early. Oh, are you still staying? Oh, you're insane. You're insane. Oh, red buff's up. Who's gonna get it? Oh. Uh oh. Did I kill her at least? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> kind of stupid, but I do not care. 
Uh, what other items do I want? I want power. I want all the power in the world. I want my heart bomb to hit so hard. Um, Crusher? Crusher actually kind of good. Actually, no, okay, Crusher's terrible on Cupid, but <laughs> because I want my heart bombs to one shot, hear me out. Because Cupid scaling on his one is actually insane. I can't see the percentage right now, but I mean, it hits for 170 twice, plus a huge amount of power scaling twice. Okay. I mean, minions are kind of beating me up. That's funny that she got stunned when she hit the ground. Whenever I kill her minions, I actually get stacks for transcendence, which is good. I can just ult, I think. Or I could just hold left click. Either way, holding left click is the hunter way. I'm building like an ability based assassin kinda. How much is Warriors Axe even doing? 132? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's actually a good amount of damage. Plus, I mean, it's healing me. Alright. So, again, hear me out. <laughs> the Crusher can only apply it by one and my ultimate. But I do not care. The, for the stats are amazing. Stats on this item make up for the fact that I'm not applying it to anything else. Why would you do that, Nua? I also need max cooldown if I want to be spamming my one. Oh, I missed. Oh, she beats that. Why did she beat that? Oh, you're so dead. Oh, am I dead? I legit don't know how I am alive. Her ultimate did hit me for 142. It's just, I guess she didn't put points in it. Which is fair. When I play Nuan Duel, I don't put points into my ultimate. It's just not good. It's mainly used as, as an escape. Understandable. Alright, let's buy that. Now I'm gonna buy... Let's see. What what else could, could help my little busy bee? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, Cupid. I have no idea what to build right now. I just want power, man. I want all the power. Oh, what if I go Rune Forge? Because my one slows. Imagine. It's like I should go Life Steal, but that's what I have my two for. Holy moly. Oh my god, that was does so much damage. My one heart bomb hit for 452. Plus 30 for the crusher, plus 47 for the axe. Like that's pretty good. That's some good damage on one ability. And not only that, but it's you know it slows them so then I can just keep using my auto attacks over and over again. People underestimate Cupid. He's actually insane. But I think people don't play him because they miss the one too much. I mean, I do too, but I think that's why people kind of don't don't see him as the top tier hunter. That and, you know, Amazon Cobb exists. Amazon Cobb is kind of a, he's more of a scarier bee. Oh, that's bad.
That's bad of me as well. Can I kill Tower here? I can. Just gonna ult here. Damn, dude. The Cupid damage. And she f 6 a little bit early, so I think we will do a second game and just put them together. So I'm going to skip into that game really quick. Okay, I thought about it, and you know what? I don't think we want two Cupid games, so let's play some Odin. Odin Odin's been asked for quite a few times. It's pretty cool. Uh, the best thing about Odin is if you go Bumpus Hammer and you get that online, you could just shield, auto, three, auto, one, auto, shield, and just get infinite shields. It's pretty insane, actually. So let's let's try to do that. We're up against a Bakasura, though, so that makes it a little difficult and early. I don't think we should start Bumpus Dagger. I think I should start some sort of Mystical Mail. Some sort, or even like a Tier 2 Jotuns. That works too. But some sort of, I don't know, damage. Now, if you don't want to go Bumpus Hammer, then I suggest uh, Bluestone on Odin. That gives a good amount of early game. Uh, early game pressure. And you know what? I think I'm going to start with a Thorns. It's just very risky, but with my shield, I think it's okay. Um, just so that when he ults me, I can Thorns and try to turn around on him. Usually Thorns is a second Relic item, and that's probably what I'm going to find. Uh, Sprint's also good against Boxer or Beads, so that you can leap out of the, the you know, his ultimate that cripples. And things like that. But I'm going to risk it for the Thorns, and we'll see what happens. Now, of course, he's probably going to come over and secure this, but I don't see him, so I'm just going to try to burst it down. There we go. I guess we got it. Maybe he went for my blue buff. I don't know. Boxers always do weird things. I don't see him on the ward, so... Nah, he went for his own. He's using the Demogorgon skin, which is cool. It's so small, though. <laughs> I like Demogorgon and Dead by Daylight. Dead by a cool game, for those that didn't know I played. There's a new game coming out called VHS that is like Dead by Daylight. I'm looking forward to that as well. Because Depa Daylight has had zero competition. Okay. Uh, I say we leave. I have no mana. I was just trying to damage him within the wave. But I, I think it's time to, uh, to leave and say our goodbyes. Alright. Again, we're just trying to get to late game. Odin's a very strange god in duel. He has a really hard time against, like, hunters, I find. He didn't used to because he had he used to have attack speed reduction on the ultimate. Uh-oh. All right, cool. He did not steal that. I'm also going to put more points in my two now because I actually get a huge amount of damage when the shield explodes. I just wanted a little bit of damage on the one as well. Alright, probably going to recall and finish my item now. Could do some damage to him, but I think it's better to just back off. Okay. So now I could go for like a Mystical Mail, a... I don't know, some sort of defense I avoid maybe. Every time I hear him use Eat Minion, it sounds like he's ulting. I don't think I've actually fought the Boxer skin yet. A little bit of lag, that's okay. <clears throat> good damage, good damage. Was it enough damage to ult? I might ult here, or try to. Ooh, nice dodge. Let's see if he leaps on me. If it leaps on me, I, I go for the kill. If he doesn't, then I don't know. A 
See, it's your move, dude. It's your move. I know you want to heal, but I'm not going to let you. All right, there we go. He's backing off. Which means I should get red buff. Yeah, the shield, when it explodes, it actually does more damage than uh, if if the shield's taking damage. If the shield's taking damage, it, it doesn't do as much damage. I guess it has a bonus if it's the full shield. He is taking blue buff, so I will get on out of here. Um, you know, I might try for a Mystical Mail, actually. Mystical Mail's been nerfed, but, I mean, it gives a good amount of damage against melee characters. Plus, it counts as magical damage, so if they build defense, it doesn't matter. And I'm a warrior, so I just kind of need to have that, you know, that passive damage near me, I guess. Again, wouldn't really build Mystical Mail against most gods. Oh, I was going to ultimate my tower, but he didn't continue. Took quite a bit of damage, but for his ultimate being down, that's not even that bad. Half my ult is not a big deal since I have a shield. Oh, I knew you are going to leap. That's why I waited. Okay, I have to ult here. Should have thorns. Alright, I'm just going to recall right here. Get ready to leap. Nope, alright. We're all good and fine. Looks like he's buying wards. Usually I'm the only one that buys wards in duel. I'm surprised he's buying wards because I can't even take Demon King, really, as Odin. Not easily, anyways. Oh, I should go Transcendence. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Transcendence might be a bit much. It does mean I could sell my Jotun's late game for Bumpus Hammer. And I would have max cooldown with Transcendence. <clears throat> but I would still have a lot of cooldown right now. I do not feel like Golden Blade, eh? I'm surprised you don't have another item yet. That was kind of bad. Let's see if I can ultimate my tower. Nope, he knows. He's too, he's too smart for me. I thought with the shield I get killed. But no, I cannot. At least I'm not dead. Still no first blood, actually. Which is kind of insane. Again, mystical mail. Usually not that good. The defense is just not great. Uh yeah, I might try to get a transcendence just for damage. Yeah, it only gives 35 physical defense. But I mean the damage is pretty good. He has not gotten a single red buff. He's also going crit. My goodness. I don't think crit is the way. Yeah, Miskul actually did a nice 100 damage there. That's awesome.
I mean, it looks like we're going to get the late game. We're going to get the infinite shields. The infinite shields is so hype when you get it. Oh, I missed. Definitely should have ulted there. I should have ulted because, I mean, obviously in case he gets away, but also because I get the extra power. That's all right. Got the kill regardless. Awesome. Okay, so let's back up. Can't afford transcends quite yet. That's all right. Yeah, if he goes, if he goes crit, I need another defense item. Uh, Mystical Mail is not going to cut it. Could go with Spectral. Does Spectral give mana? If it gives mana, that will give me more power with Transcendence too. Okay, so he always waits that. I might just start throwing it early or just completely holding on to it. Oh, you did not leap that time. Leap! Yes! Oh, uh, you don't get kills with the Odin ult very often. Not anymore, anyways. Yeah, pretty much everything's down. Is his blue buff up? Nope. Yeah, you can jump right here to see if their blue buff is up or not. Uh, I will stay just because I'm, I have uh, 50 seconds on my chalice ticking right now. I have another health potion, too. Alright, now we back up. Just chill, chill. Patience, patience. Oh, I didn't stun him. Critical damage sustained. Definitely should have thorns. That's that was way too aggressive. I mean, if I got the stun off and then autoed and ran away, and if he kept chasing, he would have died. Very stupid to take that fight, but I don't know. I always love going for the fights that you were at a disadvantage, because if you end up winning, it's just super hype. Oh, he could use both of his relics. Uh, I gotta think of mine. Maybe a Sunder. Or I could probably use a Spirit myself. For his ultimate or beads like I was saying earlier. I don't know. I'm surprised he didn't get Sunder. Oh, nice, nice Aegis. Yeah, I'm dead. I should have backed up knowing his ult was up once he Aegis. Once he Aegis, I, I had to get out of there. That's all right. Also, let's sell this for now as Sentry Ward, maybe. I just kind of trying to keep our vision on the map as well. He's going to steal my blue buff, which is really, that, that really sucks. I'm also going to get my sprint. I think that'll be better. Okay. We're still definitely in this, by the way. I'm level 15. He's level 15. Uh, but I have the threat of getting Bumba's Hammer. He does not. I like my position in this game more than his. However, the threat of Demon King is now very real. So I gotta, I gotta ward up for that. Is your blue buff up? It is not. Damn. Can I get you with my ult, maybe? Oh my god, I thought you were going that way. Now my ult's finally up. Uh, come on. There it is. I was spamming my ult that entire time. Just wait, <laughs> waiting for those last few seconds. Also, I know about the Odin uh, using the three and then using it right away to increase the attack speed for minions. Should have done it there. I just realized it. That I should have been doing that whenever I'm kind of by myself. 
This sometimes I like the little extra damage to clear faster. But yeah, you can use the three, then pop it instantly, and it, it buffs all your minions' attack speed by quite a bit. That was a really good kill, too. Because I just got so much XP and gold from that. Now, I'm going serrated for the 20% attack speed. And I think that'll be good for me. Plus, I'm using my abilities a lot. Um, okay, so second relic. Let's go spectral. Or not second relic, second item. And not, not even second item, just next item. It does give mana. It gives 300 mana. Also gives health. Pretty good item. Okay, we are almost level 18, which means I need to start saving up for Bumpus Hammer. <clears throat> Where you at, Boxura? There you are. I don't think he knows how Odin Dalt works. Maybe he does, and he didn't think it would be that much damage, but yeah. If you leap out of Odin Dalt, it will shoot spears at you and kill you. Well, not kill you, but I mean, it does a good amount of damage. I mean, my alt did 329. Like, damn. Yo, let's buff my minions. Go, minions. Attack faster. I mean, it also gives me the attack speed buff, which is better for taking the Phoenix. I am going to risk it for the red buff. Looks like he will chase me. Oh my goodness. I have 500 health. All right, let's get tier one Bumbas. Now, actually, I don't need to save up because I'm just going to sell Jotun's Wrath. Because otherwise, there's no use in having it. So, I can buy my next item, which Crusher sounds pretty good, but we already said Spectral. Don't want to get one shot by Crit Boxura. Which is funny, because he had his Rage, and he sold his Rage, and then he still went for Crit. I think that decision was because he wasn't getting any more kills. I mean, I, I don't know. Or am I imagining that he had rage? I'm almost certain he had rage. He must have sold it a while ago, too. I just wasn't paying attention. Because people don't usually sell their items uh, this early on. I really want to get level 20, though. We're already at this point, so... Boom. Our box zero. I'm not going to end because I want the fun item of goodness. I'm not going to end. All right. I will take your blue buff, though. Again, I usually don't do this, but I mean, like, level. I mean, I'm, I'm level 20 right now. That's the whole point of this game. Let's get this item. I'm going to sell Jotuns now. Probably start working towards a Crusher or a Heartseeker. Um, I guess Crusher. Crusher's fine. It's not really meant to be a late game item, but... He doesn't really have defense, so I don't think Heartseeker's good. In fact, I didn't even need Serrated. I mean, you kind of saw it there, getting my cooldowns back super fast. 
it was like not quite because he was so fast i wasn't able to get all my auto attacks but it's, it's basically infinite autos i'm fit infinite shields so like if i do this boom shield three shield now i use my one again i only have 30 percent cooldown right now actually i mean it's pretty pretty awesome pretty fun once you get it uh, I don't even know if it would work in Conquest. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that video. I am going to show the stats real quick. Um, so let's go into the lobby. Come on, game. There we go. Jeez. Here's the scoreboard, and then here's the details. Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day, and see you guys next time.